visit clothesforcash.com. Turn your trash into cash. Oh, joy of all joys. Not only do you get rid of that clutter, I mean, that is unbelievable what we've just seen, that mm -hmm. room full of clutter, but it's happening. Gumtree did some research that showed that one in five households has a bathroom, has the equivalent of a bathroom full of stuff. I can imagine. And we're all sitting on between 500 and 1,000 pounds worth of stuff that we could be getting rid of. So let's monetize it. Let's cleanse our lives and let's get in the cash. And it's never been easier to do this. I mean, I love this because I do it. I do it myself the whole time. Bit of an addict. Look at what you're selling. Yeah. And there are so many different ways to sell it. Mm. So, and it depends what you are selling. If you're selling big chunks of furniture, if you've got a dresser, you're changing a room around, you've got a sofa, there's sites Gumtree. We talk about the internet first because that's the obvious way to do it. Gumtree, that's local traders. Schools Trader, fantastic website. If you've got um, school age children and one minute they want to play the clarinet, the next minute they're doing hockey, the next minute they're doing this. That's a good well, idea, in with the clarinet, it? out with a hockey stick and vice versa because it can cost you hundreds of pounds keeping up with all their, all their hobbies. Um, Kitchen it, sink. Kitchen sink, exactly. Sells whole kitchens. We'll sell your whole kitchen for you. And moreover, you can go there when you're looking to put in a kitchen as well, because some of these kitchens are in perfect condition. Wow. Design, you I've know. never heard of this. Well, let's, uh, well, let's meet um, Karen, first of all. And this is, a, this is a lady who, she's a bit of a, a fan of this, isn't she? She is. eBay is, is her sort of guilty secret, and she is doing exactly the right thing. Oh, but selling that clutter, it's such a hassle, isn't it? You've got to get it out the attic, you've got to take a photo, you've got to go online, you've got to upload the photo, and even when it's sold, you've got to take it down to the post office to get rid of it. It's just not worth it for a few pounds. Or is it? Meet Karen. So what kind of things do you sell? Everything. <laughs> like Everything what? and anything. So you're obviously quite good at it as well. I don't think you have to be good at it. I think you just have to word it properly. Um, take good photographs and be honest above all. Karen, what a lot of handbags, but we've all got them, haven't we? Yeah, there's a few more here too, Alice. Ship them out. What are we going to do with these then? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to sell all of them <gasps> as much as possible. For as much as possible, yeah. I want to buy one special handbag. Slightly worried that we're in your daughter's bedroom and we're about to sell her stuff. Does she know we're here? She does. She does. <laughs> what we do is we take out all the pieces she doesn't want from designer to high street and it goes online and then you give her the cash and she goes, and she shopping. goes shopping again it's yeah. just a big circle it is <gasps> we come around to my house and color coordinate uh, of course karen i've got cupboards full of dvds at home are these all going yes they're definitely going all of them online um, yes definitely online you can't get rid of that it's oh, nothing you dear. won't sell woman um <laughs> Yes, there is. My beautiful dogs. They wouldn't go for any money in the world. Oh, They're just adorable. That's good news, isn't it? Well, she, she's doing she's really good. She well. She sold that dog last Saturday. No, no, she didn't. <laughs> she sold the sofa last Saturday, actually. That very sofa we were sitting on went on Saturday. What Did sort of stuff do you look to sell? Everything. Anything. Absolutely anything. Um, DVDs are a good one. I bought a DVD for my husband for Christmas, watched it, enjoyed it, loved it, put it on eBay. It makes things half price. Bought it for 20 quid, sold it for £10.50. It suddenly halves the price of what mm. you're paying for things. It does. And you don't have it sitting around. So look at what you've got to sell. Music Magpie, that's another site that's really healthy for shifting your CDs. If you've, um, you're not allowed to by law, by the way, so let's not condone this, make a copy of something and then sell your CD. Mm -hmm. So no uploading, keeping the copy and selling it. So move on your CDs. Even these app websites have um, apps where you can scan the barcode on the back of your CD or your DVD and it will just click and there it is, there's a photo of it. So all the hard work is done for you. Mm. So really what you've got to do is you've got to, this is what I do, I go around my house and I make a box of stuff that I think I'm ready to sell. I take the box up and I leave it for a bit and if I can't remember what's in the box it's ready to go. Frankly, oh, that's a good idea. You know, mentally you've parted with it. So once you've mentally parted with something, you can then shift it. So online, you've got eBay, Gumtree, clothes for cash, buy my wardrobe. There's loads of them. Sell anything, high street bits of clothing, absolutely anything. Shoes you've only worn once, people what, will buy it. What about posting things? Because that always, I always think so it's a bit of a faff because you've got to then go to the post office. And then yeah, you've got well, to... there's two things that hold people back. One is the uploading of the photograph. Mm. That's really easy now. You just take a photograph with your phone and it's on the website. The second is the post office. Well, I do all my postage online. You literally go onto the post office website, you buy it, 
and it prints out a sheet of paper. You print out a sheet of paper, stick that on the front of your box, and you're off. Off you go. Yes, That's you've got brilliant. to drop it at the post office, but you don't have to queue at the post office. In the last the key thing. minute, if you're not online and you don't feel comfortable doing that, what about yes. offline? Car boot sales, very easy. There's so many things you can take your, your... I mean, car boot sales are usually summer months, but they're really good ways to shift it. We and went design... to a car boot. My wife went to a car boot sale. They were in the back of the thing. They were in, they were rubbing Did it. Did she bring home a load of They wanted stuff? the car. Ah. <laughs> so it, you, you can sell anything like, there. On the high street, lots of designer clothes shops. Great for shopping in and great for selling in as well. But do remember, if you buy to resell, yeah. then you are liable for, cat, for tax. School newspapers, auctions... Uh, Absolutely. Local, if you can say you can still use a local newspaper and put a card in the window, works. Of course. Uh, the bookshop, local bookshop, they have little postcards. People are looking to buy things in this recession at cut price. You are looking to sell them at cut price. So it's the only sensible thing to do. And it's healthy for our environment. We have to keep our up stuff moving mm. up cycling. And please don't forget the charity shops. If you've got no. good stuff, take it to the charity Thank shop. Thank you very much. <laughs>